and gentlemen, welcome to Radiant Live TV. My name is Inis Nyaga, the head of the journalism club today. Today, we will be having a behave of activities in our school. We will be interviewing different students from, from different learning areas to know their progress in their different learning areas. Right now, we have one of our students from the visual arts room. So, please, can you tell us your name? My name is Victor Tun, the representative of the visual arts room. As you can see, here are some of the demonstrations of what we do in visual arts. There's painting, drawing, and many more things. So please. Welcome to the classroom. As you can see here, these are some of our artworks that we did using three D block lettering. And also, as you can see here, there are some of the armlets we made for the net projects. Examples are also. Some of the made for the make assessment. So, let's hear what she's going to tell us about visual arts. So, what's your name? Can you tell us what you're doing? My name is Joyce. Right here, I'm making some pom-poms using yarns and different colors, mixing them up. And some of them are fused to attach them at the corners of a table mat which I made using a frame loom. And also, I used some of the pom-poms to make a hat out of it. You can make many other items using such simple things. Thank you very much for that information. And if I may ask, is this what is making different from this one? They are the same thing. They are different. What is it? For this one, we were into like uh, doing the technique it's using. It's right is using two by two twine. Here we only use we were tying it around. So this, so this is like a scarf, and here you are making a table mat. Yes. Thank you very much. This painting is a picture making technique that is used to make, is apply application of paint to, to create an image. So as you are seeing here, I'm trying to, I'm making a, a picture or an image of a, a tree or a, a rose tree. Yes. So, I can see an example of a painting there. So, the rhino and the trees, what, how did you make them? Do you use, what technique do you use making a shape? First, I make this rhino using a stencil. This stencil will help a, a, a painter to make a good shaping, shaping of animals. Maybe you wanted to make a, a, a cut here. It, these stencils are used in order to get the accurate shape of that, that animal. And here, this is application of paint in order to, this was a savannah, a savannah first because we, you use different types of paint because maybe you can't use another paint also it will be black that will be creating a picture a good picture now we, i use this this paint in order to create a savannah this is in the evening evening when you're going to uh, setting on, on the sun yeah so as i can see here the picture is very smooth Shiny. Yes. What made it be this way? Uh, the, the painting is shining because we use glue. Glue helps in making the picture shine. So you apply glue. Yes. Mix it. Mix it. Thank you very much for that presentation. Yeah. So, okay. What are you doing? Can you explain to us what you're using in the A drawing that it is drawn in order to see images if they are realistic. Now I'm using a, a smudge technique to smudge the image of Messi, as you can see here. So after you're done uh, smudging, won't the dark marks come on the side? Uh, yes, yes, they'll appear on the side, but I will reduce the 
after I can finish. So what do you use to smudge? I can I use pencil to smudge, then I smear it properly with a sponge. As you can see, there are other realistic drawings there. So can you explain to us how you need to be like shiny? I smear it but not with the pencil, then I use an eraser to erase. Okay. Oh, that's why it's evenly distributed in all of the sides. Yes. You use the sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. What about here? How did you go about it? I, I smear the... Please, can you tell us your name? My name is Joyce. Can you explain to us what you're doing and then you tell us why you chose visual art as an optional subject? The reason why I chose visual art as my optional subject because I know my talent is in visual arts and when I'm visual arts I will learn more. Each like when I'm at home I have free time where I can improve on my talents by doing more activities at home. And right here I've made one at home and I'm still decorating it using some compounds that I've made. Okay. So what are the benefits of doing visual arts? The benefits of doing visual arts, e.g. Let's say for example this table mat. When I take it outside now, there are a lot of people who will love to buy it. And through selling it, I will earn some money which will help me. Okay. So, can you explain to us the different techniques and methods that you can use to make a table mat with the compounds? You can either use by tying the lens around it or you can use two by two trial wheel to make a table mat or you can use two by two trial wheel to either make a scarf. So is what you're making the same as this? No, they are different. Right here is making a scarf while this is a table mat. Right here is using two by two trial wheel. My name is my name is Sandra I'm a visual art student. I'm a visual arts student. Uh, Angel, you said that you're a visual arts student. Why are you so proud of being one of the visual artists? I'm, a, I'm very proud of being one of the visual arts students because in visual arts there are many careers to choose from. And visual arts helps us nurture our talents and abilities. For example, if you like painting, you can always be a, pe a artist one day when you grow up. You can even nurture your talent when you're still young. I've heard that uh, visual arts is one of the career subjects. Can you give me examples of careers in visual arts? Yes, so examples of careers in visual arts include artists, animator. You can even be a visual arts teacher if you want to. Uh, you can you can be a porter among others. Uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, right now I'm making a table mat using the frame glue. Uh, the question I wanted to ask you for a very long time, technology is improving day by day, meaning that the more you de the technology develops, the more people will develop. So, how has technology helped visual arts? Technology has helped in visual arts by increasing the number of the number of careers you can get from visual arts. For example, when you become an animator, you obviously use technology to create animations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good morning. I'm a visual arts student. I'm a visual arts student. Uh, Angel, you said that you are a visual arts student. Why are you so proud of being one of the visual artists? I'm, a, I'm very proud of being one of the visual arts students because in visual arts there are many careers to choose from. And visual arts helps us nurture our talents and abilities. For example, if you like painting, you can always be a pe a artist one day when you grow up. You can even nurture your talent when you're still young. Mm. I've heard that uh, visual arts is one of the career subjects. Can you give me examples of careers in visual arts? Yes, so examples of careers in visual arts include artist, animator. You can even be a visual arts teacher if you want to. Uh, you can you can be a porter among others. 
What are you doing right now? Uh, right now I'm making a table mat using the frame glue. Uh, the question I wanted to ask you for a very long time, technology is improving day by day, meaning that the more you de the technology develops, the more people will develop. So, how has technology helped visual arts? Technology has helped in visual arts by increasing the numbers of the number of careers you can get from visual arts. For example, when you become an animator, you obviously use technology to create animations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Kindly tell us your name. My name is Amanda Kikel. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the benefits of joining visual arts? The benefits of joining visual arts first is a career subject. For example, our videographer here, Mr. Desmond. Yes. And so, again, it uh, it helps our com it helps our community in, in uh, like when you make a paint or uh, create a design of paint. You can sell them. When you sell them, you earn money, and that will make you yani, have a living. Yeah, so it benefits the economy. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, thank you for that explanation. And if I may ask, what trees you want to paint? I want to paint a tree. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, you told last time you told me you use a stencil when painting the animals and the tree. Why did you choose to use a stencil? Because when you are using a stencil, stencil is a you use it when you are, you are making very complex designs of drawing. For example, for example, when you want to draw animals like a rhino, yes, to get the accurate shape of it. So you can just do freehand. Yes. So also here yeah, I can see your smearing some glue only when you draw the tree. Why did you choose to smear it at first? First, I I already used glue. Uh -huh. Yes. I use it because it will help me to maybe when washing the out the paint it will be easy. And again, the most important one is to make the paint to glitter and it will look shiny. Shine. Yeah. So at home, when you are idle or do not have any work at home, what are some of the benefits of visual arts? What has uh, visual arts acquired you with that can help you at home when you are idle? When I'm at home in my leisure time, I I when I'm I'm very idle, idle, I start painting because it will help me uh, be to be busy so that I can't uh, just go around without any work.